Hi, in this video I'm going to be going over the modifications I made to my Ascend 12T kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm going to be going over the modifications I made to my Ascend 12T kayak. Now some of these modifications have their own videos, which I will reference in the narrative section of this video. And then other mods that I made to this kayak will be included in this video. Starting at the rear of the kayak, I have my shortened and modified Minn Kota 30 pound thrust trolling motor. And it is on a custom mount. And down there is the power connection for the trolling motor. And the wiring runs through the hull up to the center front hatch where I have my PWM. And you can also see that I have my cable pedal steering and those lines also are run through the hull of the kayak. Behind the seat, I have an 18 by 12 crate. And inside the crate, I have my custom battery box that holds a 55 amp hour battery. And that's connected here using an SAE plug. And that wiring runs through the hull as well up to the center hatch to the PWM. And here's the remote to my PWM, and you can see it's coming out of the front center hatch. Back out a little bit, and you can see my standing cast bar. And I'll just give you another view coming this way. This is the crate I'm using to hold my battery box. It's 18 by 12 inches, and with all this surface area, you can mount a lot of rod holders or leashes or any other kind of accessories you want. And what I did with this is I took another 12 by 12 milk crate and cut the sides off and left the little handle section on. So what this is going to do is act as dividers in here. So I can set up whatever I want to keep in the crate and keep it from rolling around while I'm out on the water using those dividers. This is a little more detail about my battery box. This is a large plastic ammo can that I got at Harbor Freight. And what I did was I took out this center tray section that's in there and this fits the 55 amp hour battery I have perfectly. So what I did was I used this top section that opens up and I mounted my circuit breaker in there along with a USB charging port. And then I ran the wires through the bottom of this top through this gland nut here and to my SAE connector that then connects to the power input on the kayak itself. This is the PWM I'm going to be using on this 12T. It's going to be mounted in the center hatch and I have my motor and my battery connections labeled but I also have them color coded with these Anderson connectors so you'll be able to tell the difference and even if you make a mistake they won't connect together so everything will be okay and I have this mounted on a piece of cutting board with four wing nuts and the reason for that is if I ever need to take it out it'll be easy to do and then I'm going to use VHB tape on the inside of the hull to attach the cutting board So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.